hover, descent, landing, touchdown, and spin down. And I'll altimeter data confirm that ingenuity has performed its first flight. Yeah, I mean, you know, we start, I mean, originally we just like the idea was like, you know, like, is this thing even feasible? You know, like, can it, can you really fly on Mars? And then this, they started with a small development of like a very small miniature aircraft that even smaller than the small aircraft. <laughs> hey, we'd like you to work on this design. You know, can we design a motor controller like weight like literally just several grams, you know? And, and I was like, oh no, this is really possible. This is really hard. I don't think this is going to be achievable because especially like these parts were supposed to live in the Mars atmosphere, which is something nobody really know. And I'll altimeter data confirm that ingenuity. You know, I mean, I mean, that was like really exciting. You know, I knew that that is going to be something on Mars. The day it landed on Mars safely, I mean, that was exciting. I was like, okay, I made it. I achieved to have a hardware, a piece of hardware on Mars. And then the day it flew the first time, I mean, that was like, you know, it's, I mean, so much joy is like, I was like, you know, on a shout in the middle of the night, wake up half of the building to like, you know, just like, you know, and just like my eyes literally teared and, you know, just watching everybody in the JPR room, like, you know, just like to feel like, I feel like this one of the Wright brothers, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I'm you know, one of the guys works on the motor in the background, you know, and I mean, I'm part of history, you know, so I mean, I feel amazing. I, I feel amazing the second flight. <laughs> It is really hard, I mean, not to see your family and not be able to go to Gaza. I mean, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's really hard. I mean, it's to understand the situation because you really just like the border just closed. And I mean, you know, and, and it's just like, I mean, I didn't see my parents for many years. I mean, I didn't see my parents for 12 years. I mean, there's nothing legally stop me. It's just like, it is, it is the risk, you know, it's like, and the, what I mean by it is like, you know, in engineering, you know, we can predict everything, we can calculate everything, and we can follow a project timeline. If you get, if I, if I, if I do the same thing, like with the situation in Gaza, it's like if I say I want to visit Gaza, what is the timeline? I cannot answer that question because I don't know when the border will open. I don't know when the border. Will open. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.